Hi guys, in this video I'm going to show you how to cut a normal seam into a nano seam. So I have two seams here, they're both dodo, and one has already been cut to the size of a nano seam. So this template you can download it from iphonezam.com and it will help you to cut your seam. So basically what you do is you place your old seam onto the template. Or before you do that, of course, you need to put some double size tape uh, just to stick your seams together. Okay. Once you do that, use your ruler. Okay, once you have done that, take it out from the template. Use a pair of sharp scissors. So this part you actually cut into the metal, which is fine, because this seam, it is slightly uh, longer than the normal ones that you can see. One more. Okay. Done. Well, not a hundred percent fit, but I would say quite nicely we fit together. Well, now comes to the second part. So, if you look at these two seams, this one I have already sent, and this one hasn't sent it yet. So, the sandpaper I use is 80. When you send it, what you do is 
you do a circular motion like this. So when do you stop? If you look at this one, there's dark areas in the middle. So when you can see the dark areas, it's probably time to stop. Okay, that should be it. If it's not thin enough, and you can always send it again. Okay, so I don't have an iPhone 5 with me, but let's test to see whether the SIM card is still working using a normal phone. Three G. Let's just make a call to try to make sure that it's working.
you have dialed has been disconnected. O two O J M two thirteen. Optus advises that. It's working fine. Turn around just to make sure that it is the nano sim that we make. Okay. Thanks for watching.